where we would be out playing ball. And it'd be hot. I mean, on the East Coast, it's a, it's a different kind of heat because of the humidity. So you're sweating just walking into the store. It's pouring off of you. Shirts, everything. And there are times where we'd be out there shooting ball, sweating, and the rain would come. And we wouldn't even stop. We keep playing because that rain felt so good because we were working so hard. And some of you have been working so hard. And it's time for you to feel the rain of God. It's time for that rain to begin to hit you and to wash off of you everything that's not like him. Hallelujah. See, you've got to seek after this. This is not something that just happens. It's got to be something that becomes your focus. You've got to want this. Turn around and tell your neighbor, I want that. I want that. I want, that. I, I want to experience God that way. He also says that we should seek after spiritual gifts. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1 says, Pursue love and desire spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. Why should we go after spiritual gifts? Because the spiritual gifts are going to be the things that allow you to be able to operate and do what God has placed you on this planet to do. You need some power. You need something to give you that boost. And he says if you seek after it, it's right there for you. But what does he say first? Pursue love. Why? Because love is the bond of perfection. Love is what keeps people together. Love is what keeps you living for God. Love is what gets you over the hump a lot of times. So you pursue love. And then you pursue the gifts that will allow you to operate in love towards people. See, some people need to be healed. And if you got love for them and you got a heart for them, God, give, give me what I need to be able to help this person. Some people need direction in their life. And if you got a love and a heart for them, God will give you the wisdom to speak into their life. He said, especially that you may prophesy. To prophesy means just to speak for the message of God, just to be able to tell God, tell people what God is saying, what God wants to do. You should desire that because if you know what God wants to do, how much more secure are you in your life? Hallelujah. And how much more help can you give somebody if you can tell them this is what God said? Mm -hmm. It's a change of focus. You're desiring to go after the things that matter most. He says in Colossians, he says, set your mind or your affections, or your focus on the things that are above. Now, we touched on it a little bit, but the kingdom of heaven is above. And where Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father is a position of authority. But authority over what? <laughs> authority over all. So what authority do we have? What is our all? Our all is right here. Turn around and tell your neighbor, take authority over yourself. Take authority over yourself. You've got to rule this body like a kingdom. Hallelujah. This is your domain. This is the thing that God has placed you in charge of. This is the thing because if you're going to rule and reign in the future with Christ, you've got to learn how to rule and reign right here. Rule this land. 